Hello everyone, my name is Rumat and today we're going to do a Jarvan jungle guide. Now if you're not, I will do this week another Tlia video in our unranked to master challenge, but for today's video we're going to do Jarvan 4. Now, we're going to talk everything there is to talk about for this champion, such as summoner spells, runes, items, uh, spells, what to do, what to build, what to play, how to initiate and stuff like that. Now. There are two main ways in which you can play this champion in solo queue. I choose to play the first one, but some people in higher elos prefer to play also the second method. Now the methods are... Uh, the first one is aggressive Jarvan, and the second one is defensive Jarvan. Uh, and that can be in items and runes as well. Now, aggressive Jarvan means you get the AD jungle item, you go for black cleaver, and then you go for uh, QSS into maybe mercurial or maybe some sort of offensive item okay defensive jarvan is you go for the tank item and then you go for uh, black cleaver and stone plate and uh, ga sometimes ga is good as well and so you got to choose whether you want to be a tank or a burstish assassin bruiser sort of like that now in terms of solo queue i recommend the first one and in terms of logic i recommend to pick the one that's mostly needed now i don't like to play tanks and our team maybe needs a tank, but if you get ahead and you do your ganks right, you're going to do just fine. So, uh, start with E, start with this item, 100 machete, refillable potion, and pick the right runes, which I will show you in a second. But generally, pick a tank if your team needs one, or if you feel that your playstyle may not be, how can I say, as, uh, as aggressive, okay? So, as you can see, I'm starting red, so for jungle patting, I'm starting red, I'm going... Uh, golems and always try to proc your passive okay because it's very important to use it as well and i'm gonna use smite on this one possibly a bit too late but you're gonna want to hit the q on those little ones as well i missed that one but it's fine really now as jarvan you can do a level two gank i don't see where kiana is but she did appear on the map which is weird but as Jarvan you can do a level 2 gank generally, so when you see on the mid lane an opportunity or a bot lane you can go there for level 2, but beware, enemy jungler might steal your stuff. Uh, their mastery might steal my stuff right now as well, which is kinda risky, but we're going to have to flash out if it's needed, and so we're going to be careful. Now, as for items and runes and summoner spells, obviously for summoner spells, go for beautiful uh, smites and flash that you gotta do unless you play lane Jarvan, and I lost a lot of HP in the process. Mm. I'm gonna work my blue. Now if Mastery cheeses you, you got the flash instantly here, okay? So some Mastery players cheese here, some Mastery players decide to steal your buff, and as I have my smite ready, I'm just gonna auto-attack him and back off. Now, we're gonna talk runes, I'm gonna smite here and I'm gonna recall after that. We're gonna talk runes, I'm playing with Conqueror, Triumph, Legend, Tenacity, Cup the Grace, Relentless Hunter, Sudden Impact, and these run stats, okay, right here. And we see that Timo is ganking top now. If he ignites here, he actually outplays. I'm actually coming. Now, a good combo, a good combo that you might wanna do is to get the first blood like that. A good combo what you want, might want to do is to actually please don't die is to actually flash with your uh, EQ combo. So the only combo Jarvan has is the EQ combo. So we talked runes and we talked combos. Basically the combo that I'm talking about which you should practice in the practice tool is do EQ and then flash on top of the enemy target. Beware though Damage may not apply. As far as I know, it doesn't apply because you technically don't hit just a knockup. Okay. So if I, as far as I know, that's what's happening. But I might be wrong here. Anyway, put some doomies in the practice tool and practice the combo. I will. I might show it later to you. But right now it was needed. And so we got full HP now. We can actually do a full clear, and then we can recall, go bot, and do some ganks there. So we started the game right. Timo played it perfectly. He's. It's on him. Okay. Because. A bad uh, top laner might have died, especially against an early mastery in Lucian. It's very hard to die against someone who doesn't have, uh, who doesn't have, how can I say, stuns and such. But I think we're going to do a full clear because we have the HP now. We're gonna get all of this, so we, we're heading CS as well. We don't really need to gank. We can just ping to people to be careful. Bot lane is actually kind of safe. There might be an opportunity to gank it. 
but I'm gonna smite that. Now, he's probably at Crab. He needs to actually get back in the game. And against Master Yi, I can actually beat him up early, especially if I get a bit of advantage. And that's why I play aggressive. Now, for items, obviously, I'm going for the damage route because I'm 2 0 now, and you should go for that route when you're ahead. But in general, if your team needs a tank such as this game requires, maybe you should be careful. Because you might troll your team. So I'm going for the jungler item. Then I'm going... I get boots in between, obviously. I get a lot of vision words and red trinkets some be in between these bites. And... It's okay. It's just... Yeah, okay. And then we go for black cleaver. Then we go for QSS if needed. Or garden angel and stuff like that. So obviously here we're gonna get the red one. And we have enough money for this. A vision word and we can actually go for red trinket round but i don't choose to go as fast why is kiana having zero cs one cs what is this two cs what she lags or something <laughs> this is weird anyway itemization we talked about it i want to find some paths now to gank i'm going mid to actually put a vision word here and a word on dre because we're interested in keeping track of the dragon now i'm staying around because if he if master Ri is around then we can actually help why is he pinging me jesus i'm here to defend you if it's needed now timo is also a little bit uh pushed so i'm trying to stay in counter gang zones and if i were to guess he might be here but this is a stupid idea to do i'm gonna ping I'm just gonna do my route because I talked too much and spaced out. But yeah, I lost a lot of time here by going half away the map. Then don't, don't do that. Anyway, for items we talked about it uh, generally. Now for last items you might want to go for something tank here. And Timo recall, that's great. I actually tried to counter gang master reader, that's why I went so defensively. But generally you should react only when you see them on the map because on some words and such because Master, let's be clear, he won't be that much as full until he gets his level 6. And now we actually want to get 6 and to go bot because they are apparently losing. And I did not expect that. And we see now where their mastery is. And I guess he's level 5, we can actually destroy him. Or we could go bot. He's actually, he's actually doing Drake here. I'm doing a full combo because I want to stay. I want to be careful to that trash, okay? Okay, I'm getting a shit ton of stuff on top of my head. But I escaped, that's fine. I no longer escape because Ah, that guy actually got the lantern. Chernoth has barrier. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine, we're good. They won it eventually. But I played that a bit too aggressively, so it's fine. Now we're gonna do another clear. Yeah, we won, okay. <laughs> it went well. We want to do another clear and then go to blue. Now, Master farmed a lot because I wasted so much time as you can see my team is doing great now i want to put a vision word in the pit right after this because master you might want to solo it and i want to talk a little about summoner spells and uh, about abilities and stuff like that so your passive as you can see applies a uh, six second cooldown extra damage on a target and we see mastery now and Can you not? And your Q throws that combo with E. Combo with E pushes you along and gives you the much needed advantage now to knock people up. But now I want to be here and predict maybe Master E is not coming here. But I can actually try to kill her. You can go for the red trinket by the way at this point. Why? 
Why is she going topside? Back off. Why? Why? It's, it's not reason unless I'm on a word. Okay. Had to take care of the situation there. I need to go, but now. But yeah, you're right, Tens. Your Q, you throw down your spear in a line, your W gets you extra HP. It's a shield and a slow. Extra HP for every target that you hit. Your E, it's a flag that increases attack speed, and your ultimate is the cataclysmic spell that you have just have seen. Now, Timo is dead here. And we can actually get drink here. But I doubt I'm gonna get help from my team. So I'm just gonna solo it. Unless they fight for no reason. So yeah, I'm doing this. If they come, my bot lane should follow. And we should actually get... We should actually get... Uh, this right about now. That was a bad smite, but it's okay. Now, Drake control is very important besides doing precise rotations and good ganks and map awareness. Now, your ganks might mean nothing if the enemy mastery uh, farms for 20 minutes and their team does not lose a lot of objectives in the meantime. So I'm focusing on drakes and then we want to actually focus on getting some towers. So the first tower, that's another objective that you want to take. As I can say, the main combo of Dravan is EQ. So basically throw the E and then the Q and then you're done. And now I have my ult up in 10 seconds and I can actually go here and I don't know if it's worth it and I don't need to. Okay, go, 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 go. And we're good. Successful gang. Got two flashes. Extremely stupid. And Tim actually won top and got himself the first tower. Now we're actually moving towards the vision control part. So I'm getting some items towards that. Mid lane is winning hard. And because we actually stopped a bit mastery from going forward, we can actually move towards more objectives. Now he farms a lot. He has more more levels than me, but with Kinda stomp top, kinda stomp mid. Is there is an ATCS difference on mid lane. So that's that. But farming is also a solution. And I want to give you a trick that it's not that ethical. Sometimes when you see your mid laner or top laner back off, you can just go and take the leftovers. Yes, but you gotta keep the wave control in check. Because if you're gonna troll, then you might just lose. I'm coming, but it's fine. I need to see. Need to do this real quick. Oh my god! One HP! Jesus! Okay. That's fine. That's really fine. We can now move towards getting this. And there Lucian might come, but if I'm full HP, I actually think that I'm gonna beat him. And as a trick to Herald, you can actually, you cannot. When he does that, you destroy this, it's simple. And I might require assistance, because there Lucian might be here, okay. And normally you should try to get Herald before minute 14, when the plates are uh, gone. But yeah, mastery trolls basically, but because he has a lot of farm, he's actually ahead of levels. And that can actually be damaging to yourself in the long run because a mastery can carry eventually. But we'll see if we won't let him to do that, right? If we fight, uh, if you catch him consistently, and my team is exceptionally fed, such as this Timo and Xerath, or myself, then we're not really having that much problems. But if they get caught randomly as lower elo demands back off then you gotta have a problem 
But yeah, we, you gotta farm as well and take the experience when you can. He has a lot of farm work, he knows how to farm, that's good for him. But macro, in the macro he played pretty poorly as you can see our advantage. Uh, now we want to use Herald so that we can get some stuff with it. Now he's getting the kill on top lane. Or not, because they are horrendous. Now we see Trash. I'm actually gonna... We're actually gonna dive him. This, this is a good point to dive. Because if she wants to stay, she gotta... She gotta work it. Not sure if we can get this. But it's fine. I shouldn't take CS from my vein. And we can actually check here if there is a blue, if there is an ash. I can actually jump here. And I'm gonna flash out because I want them to escape. I missed that. It's a bad thing. If I didn't miss that, maybe Xerath would have lived, so it's my bad. But yeah, generally we talked abilities, we talked what you gotta do. Uh, should I do a full combo now? Because revolution. Well, yeah, that is was worth because of the extra gold that I have received. And I may have gave um, I may have gave to that Ash some uh, extra gold, but it's fine since we basically got both plus gold and this, this is a ton of gold right here also got the assist on that also if they are full AD go for armor as we did and I'm re recapping in my mind if you talked about everything so let's go summoner spells we did obviously you go for flash and smite I don't need to explain it now next thing uh, runes we talked about it items we talked Ability order combos, combo your main combo EQ as I said, flash sometimes can be useful to surprise the enemy with a knock up, you can actually practice that in the practice tool. Now on the micro and macro part, you should always hit your combo on micro, so it's very important to know the micro, to know how to actually always hit it, so you gotta wait, okay, if the enemy, if your top laner or mid laner has a CC, such as rise is stun, then you can easily abuse that and hit your combo all the time. That's why in the past a lot of pro players played Rise in combination with Leah, in combination with Jarvan, in combination with Rek'Sai and stuff like that so that they stack up the CC and combo. Okay, so it's a very important thing. Now, obviously you know that you shouldn't smite this I smite because it's irrelevant, because it's pretty bad if you smite it and then you're gonna lose it. So basically focus on your objective control. Smite can be practiced also. Every time you are in the practice tool, you can actually practice smites. As funny as it seems, you can actually get that skill up. Also, on macro control, you should also focus on drakes, because it's very important to have all the drakes. Dragon Soul is one of the most important things in the game now, as you can see, a lot of pro player games are won because of that, and a lot of games are won when your team gets drake, or four drakes, even though if your team is behind. I don't want to rank them, but it's mostly important to get them because all drakes are kind of useful now compared to the past. Farming is very important, but as Jarvan, I'd say it's more important to have good kill participation. As you can see, we're actually destroying them in kills, and that actually puts us very ahead. Because even though their master E has a lot of farm, they, he still dies, as you can see, because my team is extremely fed doesn't matter that he has more experience or not because he has four kill participation and I have 11 he also failed early which kind of costs him and that was a one shot as you can see I actually waited for his Q first and I went only after that so it's very important now if you're fighting Master E you're gonna want for his Q to go off first They are probably coming here. So we just position ourselves as such because we're expecting them to come on vein. If they do come on vein. Have you seen me? Well, we can just do this. And we can farm a bit more. Now, for macro, obviously, as I said, first Drake and stuff like that. It's very important. And 
this guy actually trolled a bit here. Okay. I'm not even gonna use Q here. Okay, I'm not. I'm not. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up as well. There is also a red buff. By the way, every time you finish a good trade and you can clear the map like that, always take everything available, but always press tab to look at the enemy. So, when I do this, I make sure that there is no one actually following here. And now we can do Baron. Uh, I know this is maybe the not, not the best example, but in cases like this, like Yana, like Talon, champions that want to fight level 2, it's actually recommended to gank them level 2, because you're gonna create a massive, massive advantage for your mid laner. Always pass the red buff as it happens here, and always focus on thinking about the next opportunity. Don't go around the map as I did in the early levels and lose a lot of experience or uh, pressure as I did. I I think they won already, but first we're gonna do this. It's fine, they have no words. And we can't too many because having a vein, having a Kogma, champions like that will actually enable you to get these parents easily. I miss that. So if we were to maybe recap, one of the most important things is to be careful on the macro. Do right ganks, do early ganks, do a lot of ganks, but always do good rotations. Look at pro players if you don't like how I did the rotation. I kinda did a bad rotation early on. Uh, but always try to do a rotation that works with your current status and with your farm and uh, with your team, where they are around the map, where do you need to be, stuff like that. Now here we want to go for Guardian Angel. So I'm getting that, I'm selling this because we're gonna have to buy it. And we can go for the next Drake. Oh my god. And they surrendered. So this is my Jarvan 4 guide. I think I've talked about pretty much everything. Maybe a little less on the micro and macro part. But generally, uh, you should watch a lot of pro player videos on patting. You should maybe learn also tracking flashes and also jungle tracking that's that's a mechanic that you see only at higher diamond levels very rarely you're gonna see someone tracking the enemy jungle as knowing their constant position or pre predictive predictively guessing goodly guessing where they are stuff like that that's what a good player does now i'm not doing a tutorial for a diamond or a master tier java i'm doing for the average jarvan so you gotta understand everything how it's played because most people watching this video are going, not going to be are not going to be the one percent which plays League of Legends at the highest of levels, okay? And so, this is actually my Jarvan guide, and this is how I generally do. If you believe you have something to add up, please add them in the comments, and also check the comments whenever you can, to see if there are some, there are more useful advice there, and, you know. I am Dramat, and see you next time, I'm going to make a Talia video this week as well. Goodbye, guys. Bye.